I am going to be showing you everything that I got my three-year-old toddler for Christmas. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel or welcome to it if you guys are new here. If you are new here, hi, my name's Hannah, my partner's name is Chris, and together we have a beautiful three-year-old daughter named Skylar May, a cat named Rain, and a dog named Georgia. That is our little family of five. But as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail of today's video, I am going to be showing you everything that I got my three-year-old toddler for Christmas. Granted, we are not done our Christmas shopping, so there is a possibility that while we're out shopping for other people, we might see something that we think Skylar May likes and end up getting her more things. But as of right now, I'm pretty sure she's done. She's gonna get a lot of gifts from her other family members as well, so I'm trying not to spoil her too much, but I only have one kid, so it's hard not to freaking spoil her. So I'm gonna start off by showing you everything that I got for her a stocking. Hopefully this video gives you guys some last minute Christmas ideas if you're like me and are leaving your Christmas shopping to the last freaking day, literally. I got this all locally. I kind of dropped the ball on ordering anything online because I waited until way too late, unfortunately. So I got everything that you guys are going to see in this video from Walmart or Dollarama. Disclaimer, I would like to add that no, there is not a fire outside. That is just a reflection of the fireplace ambiance that I have on the TV right now. Okay, so this is Skylar Mae's stocking that we have. Her great-grandma Linda made this for her before she was born or the year she was born. And it is my favorite thing in the freaking world. It says Skylar Mae on this side, but then if you flip it over, it has her middle name, Charlie. I got her the basic stuff. You always need new toothbrushes every year for Christmas. Let's face it, everybody gets toothbrushes on Christmas. If you don't, what the heck? <laughs> so I always like to get her this little um, pack of four. It's kids extra soft toothbrushes for infants. And there is four of them in there, four different colors. So, got her some new, much needed toothbrushes. And then I got her some more of her bedtime bubble bath because she really enjoyed this bubble bath. I got her a different one and it just wasn't the same. It kind of smelled a little bit weird to me. So we are using the last of that one up, but she freaking loved this one. So I decided to get her some more of this. And then I saw these really cute little Pezzas in Walmart and she's kind of just now getting the hang of like candy, like hard, harder candies, not soft candies. Um, and I think she would think that this little snowman Pez dispenser is just the cutest freaking thing in the world. So I got her one of these for her stocking as well. I got her a classic chocolate M&M little Christmas booklet. I always used to get these little booklets, but they were lifesavers as a kid when I was little. So I thought I would get her um, one as well. And then I know these are for like infants and toddlers, but she just goes absolutely crazy for these. So we go through spurts of not buying them and then buying them for her. I thought, why not get her these again and put them in her stocking because she absolutely loves opening them up in her stocking. So these are the Gerber's Little Crunchies Zesty Tomato Flavor. They're basically like, little cheese puffs, same brand of the little kid puffs that you can get as well. And they're from 12 months and on, and she is three, but she absolutely freaking loves these. And they're actually pretty low in calories. They don't have too much in them, so that's why I like them. I feel like it's the healthier version of like actual cheesies. So this is what we go with. And then these are from Dollarama. These are stamps. So there is 10 stamps in here, three ink pads, and I just thought it was super freaking cute. She loves little stickers, so I thought why not start to get her into stamps as well. We made gingerbread cookies a little while ago and we had like these cookie stamps and she absolutely loved using them. So that's where I got the inspiration to get her some stamps. Also from the dollar store, I found this really cute little numbered butterfly puzzle. And I think she'll have a lot of fun with this. She loves puzzles and piecing things together, building blocks, stacking things. So I thought this was perfect and she loves counting. So 
these also have numbers on them. I thought that would help her out a lot. I love little fun educational toys, especially for Skylar May and her being on the spectrum. Sensory development and play are huge in her category, so I absolutely love shopping for her. And then I got her a little mini Rubik's Cube. She always, always steals my nephew's Hudson's Rubik's Cubes, so I saw this and just had to freaking get her her own one. She has way too many books and I always, always, always tell people not to get books for her because she literally has a whole tote of books that are like half chewed because that's just what she does. I saw this four in one case of Blue's box of books and I just had to freaking get it for her. They're like, um, they're educational books so I really think that these will help her development and I just, I couldn't help it. She freaking loves Blue's Clues. So there is a Count with Blue, Feelings with Blue, um, World of Colors and ABCs with Blue. So that was my kind of reasoning behind getting her more books because I think she'll really, really like these ones and they'll be really helpful for her, especially since she loves counting and her ABCs, so. And then I remember having one of these as a kid and I probably put this in the cart and then took it out of the cart like five times before I finally just said, you know what, F it. Yes, it's a cheap plastic toy, but she is gonna freaking love this, but it is one of these little colorful twirly things. I don't even know what it's called but I just know that she's gonna freaking love it. Spinning Light Wand, that's what it's called. So, and then I got her this really cute, um, I think it's peacock feather like water bottle. She loves water bottles that kind of flip up like this. It's really easy for her to drink out of these types of tips water bottles. She absolutely loves the one that I have from Tulamine, so I thought I should get her her own. She has one of these at my mom's, so I know she's gonna freaking love it. And then she really needs new bath toys because the ones that she has now are like the little animals that get moldy inside because they have holes and you can like squirt water out of them. So I really need to toss those ones. I don't like buying them, but I got the ones that she has now gifted to me from her baby shower that I had before she was even born. That's how freaking long I've had them for, but we didn't open them up for the first couple years. We just opened them up actually when we moved into this house so they are still quite new but I have noticed that they do they are starting to look dirty on the inside so I need to throw them out and I wanted to replace them with different ones but I also wanted to try to get her like a variety of different bath toys that won't get gross and mold so I saw these in Walmart they're like little silicone numbered ships and I thought that would be super fun to, for her to have in the bath they're in rainbow colors as well so I think she's really gonna like these and then I got her more of the same type of toys but these ones actually oh no they do have little holes in them so temporary toys but I got her a little bit a little sack of the same type of toys that I was just talking about and contradicting myself about so there was a whale a crab a starfish and a little sea lion in there so I think she's gonna think that's really cute she loves practicing her animals, so that is gonna be very, very helpful for her. And then I saw these bath letters and animals. They are styrofoam, and I know, I know, she's going to chew them and probably bite chunks off of them, but we'll just have to watch her, obviously, in the tub. She's not left unattended. So I got her these bath letters and animals, and I think she's gonna have fun with those as well. I don't think they stick to the wall or anything like that. They will literally just float around in the tub, but how freaking cute. Oh no, they do sticks to the tub wall when wet. Cool, I didn't even know that. <laughs> so I think she's gonna have a lot of fun with those. Are we still on stocking stuffers? Oh my Lord, look at how small her stocking is. That is, that is not gonna fit. She's gonna have uh, an overloaded stocking. <laughs> do it every every year and then I just decided to get her some more hair ties because she always goes through hers so fast just like the rest of us women do and I got her this really cute little pink headband with a bow on top as well she's probably not gonna wear it and if she does it's not going to be for very long but what the heck it's adorable so I had to get it and then these two items aren't going in her stocking 
but they are Christmas themed. I did get them while Christmas shopping for her, so I want to take this opportunity to show you guys. We have a tradition in our family. If you guys have been watching our vlogs for a long time, you may know this already, but Christmas Eve, we always go to my parents' house, watch The Grinch, read the book the night before Christmas. We get to open one present that is always new PJs for Christmas day, Christmas morning. We always had the camera and the video camera out when I was a kid, so my mom always said that she wanted us to open new PJs for Christmas pictures in the morning and to be on the video camera. So, and then it just became a tradition. Every time we begged to open one present on Christmas Eve, my mom would always pick one for us and it was always PJs, so now we just roll with it. And I found these really cute PJs for her. I haven't gotten Chris's yet and he has not gotten mine yet, but at least Kyler Mae has some. And I know it seems silly because you may think she's opening them on Christmas Eve so she's only gonna get a couple wears out of them, but honestly, she's gonna wear these PJs into the New Year's until she can't fit into them anymore, so it's well worth it. I think they are super stinking cute, so it's just like red fleece snowflakey bottoms and then she has a long sleeve shirt with a little dough on it in the corner there, which I think is absolutely adorable. And those should fit her perfectly. And then I got this really cute freaking dress for her, you guys. This was on clearance for $7, but look at it. It is so freaking adorable, I can't get over it. It has like little gingerbread people, reindeer, mistletoe, skates, presents, Christmas trees. Just everything freaking Christmas and it is so stinking cute. So I thought this was a really cute winter themed dress. She is, this is not gonna be a Christmas present. Like she's going to be getting this and wearing this before Christmas. I think this might be the dress that I'm going to put her in for like Christmas dinner. It's not super fancy, but it's super freaking cute. So it'll work. Okay, so that is everything going into her stocking. I hope that gave you some gift ideas for your toddler stock for your toddlers or your kids stockings. Now let's move on to gifts that are gonna be underneath the tree. And now that I'm looking at everything divided, I'm already thinking I want to get her more things. <laughs> Contradicting myself yet again, but I'm going to show you everything that I have here. And then if we end up getting more things for her, well, you guys are just gonna to have to wait and see until the Christmas vlog, what more we got. I got this really cute eight piece stacking ring set. She has like a crocheted one that her grandma Linda made for her that she absolutely loves. She absolutely loves stacking blocks, but she has been getting literally anything that she can take off the shelves. Even when I was in the bathroom earlier doing my makeup, she takes things out and stacks them on top of each other, like all my compacts. So I got this for her. I thought it was super stinking cute as well. There's like different animals and stuff and it's yeah, literally just a stacking rings set. So I think she's gonna have a lot of fun with this as well. And then when we go to Skylar Mae's speech therapy and occupational therapy, they have this coloring mat and I saw one in Walmart because she absolutely loves that mat there and I decided to get one for her. So it's a color and erase reusable mat. It's 81 centimeters by 58 centimeters. So it's like decently long and then it comes with it comes with four washable markers, one wipe cloth, and then one refillable eraser, and then the mat itself. So she absolutely loves coloring on the ground as it is. And we go through so much paper, coloring books, and crayons with her because A, she likes to eat and break her crayons. B, she colors all the freaking time, and she is just a mad woman when she colors, so it doesn't take her very long to get through a coloring book. She will definitely get the worths out of this because this is gonna be awesome for her to have. And on that note, I did get her another giant coloring book. I decided to get her the bluey one this time. She absolutely loves bluey and blue's clues. Anything blue, Skylar loves it. <laughs> I think that might be her favorite color. So I got her this and then to go with it, I also got her a brand new pack of washable crayons. And to tie in with her bluey theme, I got her another gift, but I actually already wrapped this one. I had to wrap it as soon as I came home so that she wouldn't see it because we literally have no room to hide any of her presents, you guys. 
So I had to wrap this one so she wouldn't see it and want to open it, but I'll put a picture of what it is on the screen so you guys can see what it looks like, but you'll also see it in the Christmas morning vlog. So this is what it looks like wrapped. This is one of her bigger presents, but it is a bluey dollhouse, you guys, and it comes with a little bluey character, and I just thought it was so stinking cute not to get her. So I am super excited to gift her that. And then I got her a Melissa and Doug wooden instruments pack. I think she's really gonna like this. She freaking loves music and instruments. So it comes with a tambourine, two maracas, two cymbals, and geez, a kazoo and some sort of clacky thing. So it's gonna be loud, it's gonna be annoying, but she's gonna have fun with these. And kind of to go along with those, I got her these bins that I'm going to be using to divide up a lot of her toys when I do her toy rotation. I'm planning on making a video after I show you guys like her room reveal tour on her toy rotation. Um, I will definitely be including it in future vlogs in the new years once I get a good one going. Um, we do already have a good toy rotation in process but she definitely needs some new toys and some bins for it and I'm still on the hunt for a few particular things. If you guys have ever heard of like, I think it's called pronounced Montessori, Montessori toys. I don't know exactly what you would call it, but it's it's not a theme, it's not a program, it's more of like a development structure. It's very popular for parents to be doing with their toddlers. That is what I am trying to incorporate into her routine, into her daily routine. It really just promotes children development, sensory play, motor skills, and encourages your kids to use learn these things on their own, like basic life skills type of things. I really wish I didn't drop the ball on ordering things because I really, really, really wanted to get Skylar Mae like a fully functional mini kitchen so I could put like her snacks in it. She could have the water play with the sink because I absolutely think she would love that. So that is definitely something that I wanna get for her in the future. Maybe it'll just be a random gift <laughs> when I, if I ever see one or find one for her that's reasonably priced. But yeah, that is the theme that we're going for, especially with her toy rotation and all that stuff. And then every kid's gotta have some clothes on Christmas day. Got her this really cute pair of just jeans. She needed a good pair of little jeggings, so I got her those. And then I saw this really cute, warm, fleecy, like coral color sweater and decided to get this for her as well. She loves fleecy things like this that are super soft. She loves touching them, and blankets, anything. She absolutely loves it, so I know she's gonna adore this. Then last but not least, me and Chris were waffling for quite some time. Every time we went into Walmart and saw these, we're like, should we get her one of these? Should we not? Like, should we wait? Should we just get her one? So when I was doing her Christmas shopping, I was like, you know what, now is the freaking time so I decided to get her one. I'm not even going to bother wrapping this present. This one is just gonna be out underneath the Christmas tree for her and I think she's gonna be so excited when she sees it. It is like her own little, I shouldn't say little, it is her own bean bag freaking chair, you guys. It is a little gray fleece bean bag. She's gonna love it. I am freaking jealous. I want my own. I wish they made bigger ones. They probably do but I just know she's gonna freaking love this. I'm undecided if I'm gonna have it out in the living room for her or her bedroom, but regardless, we can bring it out for her and then put it back in her bedroom. It'll probably be one of those types of things, but it goes with the color scheme of her bedroom, which is like grays, beiges, whites, neutrals, basically, um, with a hint of like lavender. So, super excited for her to see this and sit in this because I just know she's gonna absolutely adore that. So this is just gonna be hanging out underneath the Christmas tree for her so that when she wakes up on Christmas morning, she sees her new chair underneath the tree. So that is everything that I have gotten my three-year-old toddler who is on the spectrum for Christmas. Like I mentioned, we might see something else while we're doing other Christmas shopping and decide to get her more. Honestly, we probably will because me and Chris cannot help but spoil our little girl. Judge us if you want, but that's just how it is. 
So I hope this video gave you guys some ideas for your toddlers or your kids. I love watching these types of videos and I love getting ideas from other parents as well. I'm going to be wrapping all of these gifts in an upcoming last minute Christmas prep vlog. So make sure you guys subscribe down below so you guys don't miss that. I am so, so, so excited for Skylar Mae to open all of these gifts on Christmas day and I cannot wait to see what other people got for her. Her great grandma Linda who lives in Princeton sent us over a whole tote full of presents. So I cannot wait to open those but thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys enjoyed it make sure to subscribe down below for more content like this and until then i will see you in the next one bye